Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. We are here in Tustin, California. I want to give you an update on a subsurface drip Carapia installation, Carapia utility ground cover <clears throat> installation that I did uh, late summer of last year. And just wanted to show you how thick this Carapia is and how well it's established and has taken pretty much control of the area. It's starting to move out in different areas too. As you can see, it moves horizontally, so <clears throat> we have some growth going off to the sides and uh, also out towards the patio here. See where it's coming over here, it was growing really good. We did have some problems with uh, the Bermuda grass. There was some strands of Bermuda grass that was up in here. But as you can see, the carapia has basically choked it out. This carapia here is about, I would say, four inches, four to five inches in, in height. It's all in bloom, has a really beautiful white flower. You can see some sprigs of the Bermuda grass in there, but it's hardly noticeable. There's some lines over here. It's Bermuda. So yeah there's a couple of strands of bermuda that's lost off up in here but all in all there's a couple wide blade weeds that are in here that easily isolate and to get rid of it see how deep roots they are nice deeply rooted a lot of bees a lot of bee action happening here they're not bothering me and i'm not bothering them so everything is cool but uh, just to show you that some people wonder about subsurface drip they wonder about putting in carapia this has been in now for like about uh, three to four months. Summertime, warm season is the best time for carapia, which is we're moving into that hotter time of the year. And it's really taken off. So if you're ever concerned or wondering about what does carapia look like, especially if you use subsurface drip, this is what you get. But you gotta keep in mind, it's gotta be prepared right. The area that you're gonna plant in has to be prepared correctly. We had soil tests done to establish the saturation time, like how long it takes for the water to saturate through the soil profile. If it needed any types of nutrients that had to be added in order to make sure it has an ideal environment for the carapia to grow. But especially if you're using drip, subsurface drip, you need to know your infiltration rate because we have the tubing is 0.6 gallons per hour. It's a Netafim tubing. 0.6 per hour 12 inch spacing that we have installed in here so we run it probably like an hour to get a, <clears throat> a half a gallon a little less a little more than a half a gallon of water we run it probably like once a week and that's what we got going here so as you can see it's really nice and thick and uh, got good results so if you're considering it consider it a good choice alternative all the rest of the plant materials looking pretty good too back here in the back at wallace midwest landscaping tips and ideas be sure to uh give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed hit that notification bell because you never know when your boy is going to be putting out another video or maybe in your part of town thanks for watching stay tuned for more